In today's video, I am going to be breaking down P.J. Tucker and how he plays defense. P.J. Tucker is obviously one of the top defenders in the NBA, and today we're going to see what he does to become one of the best and how you can do this as well in your own game. Okay, so in this first clip, we're watching P.J. Tucker fight through a screen and stay with his main defender or main player that he wants to defend. Now, the playoffs are a lot more aggressive, and most likely any playoffs that you're ever part of are going to be a little bit more aggressive anyways. Now, that could have been called a foul. We have to remember that we are allowed to fight over top of screens, but at the same time, that screener also did sh move his shoulder in towards P.J. Tucker at the same exact time, so I am not really too surprised that there was a no call there there was kind of a foul on both of those players however pj tucker was able to stay with that player we've seen a great hedge by lopez which then allowed durant to be able to be stuck inside the three-point line and had to be forced to pass the ball out this was all due to pj tucker being able to fight through that screen and stay with kevin durant now, if you're getting a screen set to you or set on you and you're, it's a pin down screen to your back, what you can do, one way to get around it is not by turning your whole body and trying to get around the screen. All you need to do is just spin and then front face the player who you were trying to defend. Now, at this point, we see P.J. Tucker playing extremely tight to Kevin Durant. And this is because, of course... Kevin Durant wants to go towards that side, whether it to be set, setting a screen here or maybe setting a screen away or possibly getting the ball at the point. PJ's Tucker was already in charge of that ground and he does not want Kevin Durant to get that ground. So Kevin, he has to force Kevin Durant to go around him. Now this was a really risky play because he jumped really too high to really deny that pass and he landed way too late considering how far Kevin Durant was already back down from his jump. At this point in time Kevin Durant attacks the basket and of course we have some fantastic help side defense. Now if PJ Tucker was to not hop so high and just stutter his feet which we don't see many players do all that all that often anymore he could have still denied that pass without being stuck out of position as we see here however still a very good defensive possession now in this third clip we actually have a really good fight through a screen twice really and he took a charge but it was never called this was a very good uh, possession for the defense especially for pj tucker so what we see here is pj tucker staying super close to kevin durant he starts reaching his hand out trying to find that screen he probably hears his teammate calling for it now if you are a good defender you can be communicating to your player who is now getting screened on saying screen left screen right in which case this would be a screen left and pj tucker is able to reach out for his hand find that screen and also what that hand does is to figure out hey now i can try to squeeze my way between these two players so that that screen is no longer able to happen and of course we see that with the screener now starting to edge off of setting that screen because he doesn't want to have a foul called on him and the screen's going to be pretty much useless anyways and then from there pj tucker is able to stay with him using his foot speed now pj tucker look where his hands are he didn't put his hands up which could be classified as a foul against somebody like a kevin durant he keeps his arms down he gets in position look at that he plants his feet Kevin Durant puts his foot between or his leg between his to try and get that foul call. Now next year that will most likely be classified as a foul on Kevin Durant. You're supposed to stay within your cylinder and for Kevin Durant his cylinder is right here. Now he sees PJ Tucker trying to get inside of his cylinder and he leans forward out of his cylinder. His cylinder, his right foot's still there that's his cylinder because he reached out from this cylinder next year the nba is going to start cracking down on this and this would be an offensive foul on kevin durant this is what they're going to be incorporating next year so we have to really watch out for stuff like this on the offensive side they're actually starting to protect the defender now in this case we did see a little bit of a flop from P.J. Tucker, but at the same time, that should have been called a foul, and they just never called it. And of course, the other team's going to be saying, oh, that's a shooting foul, but guess what? He was outside of his cylinder. We see that him leaning into that, that defender right there. That is an offensive foul. 
Now this next play is a bit more risky, however it's still a very good defensive play. We see PJ Tucker really denying that pass extremely hard. We see a staggered screen along the baseline set up, and this was really good defense by Lopez even though he is facing away from the ball, I don't like that. He should in my opinion be facing the ball or at least facing away to see the ball in his peripheral vision. But PJ Tucker sees that he has multiple defenders here who can protect Kevin Durant who, are, who is cutting baseline he can then go over top and deny that pass from entering to Kevin Durant which is a fantastic defensive play we now see a screen happening up top and they are now trying to get away from even passing to Kevin Durant because of course they're getting near the end of the shot clock PJ Tucker was able to take away the first option in this play by basically watching what his teammates were doing along the baseline and by seeing the great wall of Milwaukee basically defending the baseline, he is able to go over top. And if you can see stuff like this, and if you've got a good defensive team like this, you should be able to really stop a lot of players who are running this play. Now, if you're playing against a taller player, so if you're somebody like a P.J. Tucker guarding a Kevin Durant, you don't want to jump for any shot. Just keep your hand up, straight up, straight up, straight body. You're not going to get a foul call. And, of course, if you're straight up, you are still contesting that shot, and then just turn around and get that rebound. Make sure to go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below. I really do hope that this video has helped you become a better defender in basketball. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe. A really quick tip as well, learn soccer. Do really good with soccer and hacky sacks and things like that because, of course, that will help you with your, your hand, foot. Uh, I guess you could call it coordination, but your feet are very important. Foot speed is very important, and that can help you as well. I'll see you guys in my next video.